Hey guys, it's Kerry. I've got some of my older and more unusual sea animals today, as well as some of my new favorite ones. All sea animals have adaptations that allow them to survive in a marine environment. Spiny lobster can be easily distinguished from true lobsters by their very long, thick spiny antennae and by the lack of chele or claws on the first four pairs of walking legs. Although the females of most species have a small claw on the fifth pair. Lobsters are invertebrates with a hard protective exoskeleton. Like most arthropods, lobsters must shed to grow, which does leave them vulnerable. Humpback whale, they can grow to over 18 metres in length and live up to 90 years. Humpback whales have some of the longest migrations of any mammal, with some populations swimming over 8,000 kilometres between breeding and feeding grounds. They filter feed for tiny krill or small pelagic fishes and are totally harmless to people. Queen triggerfish, they are aggressively defensive of their territory and can inflict a strong bite, especially during the breeding season. Bony fish and sharks use gills to extract oxygen from the water, while invertebrates rely on gills, pores or central cavities. Ammonite, these mollusks are more closely related to living colloids, octopuses, squid and cuttlefish. Let me know what your favourite sea animal is. Narwhal is unique and elusive. The long tusk that spirals counterclockwise from its upper lip has helped earn the narwhal its rightful place among history's legendary sea creatures. Manta ray they are much larger than you may think, with some having a wingspan up to 7 metres and weighing up to 2 tonnes. The tail on a manta ray does not contain a barb, like stingrays. Cuparoceros was a genus of nautiloid cephalopod from the Permian period. It resembled a spiny ammonite. Angel shark. They are a really unique species of shark. They have flat bodies and extremely long pelvic and pectoral fins. Anglerfish. There's a light that emanates from the end of the fishing rod-like extension on its forehead. It uses this surprising adaption to lure prey out of the dark and close enough for its razor sharp jaws to strike. Anomalocaris, it is distantly related to modern day arthropods, including crabs and lobsters. It didn't survive the mass extinction. Coelacanth, it's considered a living fossil. The oldest known coelacanth fossils are over 410 million years old. Cretoxyrhina is an extinct genus of large mackerel shark that lived about 107 million years ago. Cretoxyrhina was preyed upon by the giant mosasaur Tylosaurus. Ichthyosaurus is an extinct reptile that lived in water. Its name means fish lizard. Liopleuridon was an extinct genus 
of large carnivorous marine reptile. It was the apex predator of the middle to late Jurassic seas. The largest species is estimated to have grown up to 6.6 .6 metres, which is 22 feet in length. Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. It has a triangular shaped head with a slightly hooked beak. Adults are generally a greyish green colour on top with a pale yellowish bottom shell. The hatchlings are darkly coloured on both sides. One of the distinctive features of the goblin shark is its protrusible mouth. The mouth can retract to a position under the eye or extend forward under the snout. When feeding, the goblin shark extends its jaws forward faster than any other species of shark to catch its prey. Vaquita porpoise. It reaches a maximum body length of one and a half meters or five feet. It is the most endangered cetacean in the world due to the use of gill nets. Blue spotted ray. They are fairly small, growing to around 35 centimetres in width, with a mostly smooth oval pectoral fin disc, large protruding eyes and a relatively short and thick tail with a deep fin fold underneath. It can be easily identified by its striking colour pattern of many electric blue spots on a yellowish background with a pair of blue stripes on the tail. Seahorse, they are fish. They possess swim bladders to remain buoyant in the water and utilise their gills to breathe. Dugong, like all modern Cyrenians, the dugong has a fusiform body with no dorsal fin or hind limbs. The forelimbs or flippers are paddle-like. It has a fluked, dolphin-like tail, but also possesses a unique skull and teeth. They are unusual animals with their horse-shaped head, eyes like a chameleon which can move independently, and a prehensile tail. Anomalocaris. It is distantly related to modern day arthropods, including crabs and lobsters. It didn't survive the mass extinction. Blue ringed octopus. They are stunning. When they are alarmed, these animals will show off their eponymous iridescent blue rings that cover their body and arms. Blue sea dragon. They are pelagic. They float upside down by using the surface tension of the water to stay up, where they are carried along by the winds and ocean currents. Sea lion. They are able to walk on land using their large flippers and have visible ear flaps. They are different to seals. Seals have small flippers wriggle on their bellies on land and lack visible ear flaps. Sea lions have sharp teeth, sharp claws and are potentially dangerous. Emperor penguin. It is flightless with a streamlined body and wings stiffened and flattened into flippers for a marine habitat. Its diet consists of primarily fish but also includes crustaceans. Monterey giant squid. Blue whale. They have the largest penis on earth. An erect blue whale penis is 12 inches or 30 centimeters in diameter and 10 feet or three meters in length. It is fibroelastic like those of the blue whale's artiodactyl relatives. The retracted penis curves in an S-shaped loop and stays inside the body. 
When erect, it peeks out of the genital slit. Blue whales also have a distal spiral valve as a spermatic tube. Cetaceans do not have scrotums like terrestrial mammalian males do. Blood goes directly to the testes. The females have a long vulva and two nipples on each side. Bull shark are the most dangerous sharks in the world. They are an aggressive species of shark and tend to hunt in waters where people often swim along tropical shorelines. Dolphin, even though they look like big fish, they are mammals that belong to the whale family. They are found in tropical and temperate oceans around the world. Nudibranch are a group of soft-bodied marine gastropod mollusks that shed their shells after their larval stage. Great white shark, like many other sharks, have rows of serrated teeth behind the main ones, ready to replace any that break off. When the shark bites, it shakes its head side to side, helping the teeth saw off large chunks of flesh. Great white sharks, like other mackerel sharks, have larger eyes than other shark species in proportion to their body size. The iris of the eye is a deep blue instead of black. Goliath grouper can grow to huge size, up to 2.7 metres. Notice that the caudal fin is slightly rounded. The adults are mainly solitary and hold territories on the outer reef and in lagoons. Oxfish, when stressed or injured, it will release the neurotoxin tetrodotoxin from its skin into the water. Lemon shark can grow to about 3.4 metres. They are often found in shallow subtropical waters and are known to inhabit and return to specific nursery sites for breeding. Megalodon, it is the largest prehistoric shark to have ever existed and one of the most powerful predators on earth. It was a prehistoric monster shark that first appeared about 20 million years ago. Its teeth grew to 16 centimetres or 7 inches in length and it would have fed on large prehistoric whales. As teeth are lost, broken or worn down, they are replaced by new teeth. Megalodon may have had hundreds of teeth at any one time. They swallowed their food in huge chunks. They became extinct when global water temperatures dropped. That reduced the area where Megalodon, a warm water shark, could thrive. Because of the changing climate, entire species that Megalodon preyed upon vanished forever. Please stay and watch another video with me. I love to read and will always reply to your comments. Thank you for watching my video. See you again soon. See you guys in my next video.